Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss exercise 4.6 question number 1. From the figure identify A the center of this circle, B 3 radii, C a diameter, D a chord, two points in the interior, A point in the exterior, a sector and a segment. Let us take center of the circle. We already know that here if we point out the center, then here you see the O is the center of the circle. This is the center, right? Here you see this is the center. This is the center O. Here you see that O is the center of the circle, right? O is the center, right? Therefore, we can say that the center of the circle is O, right? Now, question number B, three radii, radius, radius, radius means you have to here you see, we will got 3 radii, radius is OA, if we draw O to A, this is 1 radii, OA, this is 1 radius, here you see, this is 1 radius, that is we can say 3 radii, OA is 1 radius, OA, and OB, here you see, OB is also another radius, OB is also another radius, OB and OC is also another radius. This is OC, right? Therefore, 3 radius OA, OB and OC. Radius means the distance between the center to the circumference is the radius of the circle, right? Now, a diameter. Diameter, here you see, the diameter is AC. Right? Here you see the diameter is A to C. That means a chord passing through the center of the circle to the other side, to the other side of the circle is the diameter. Right? A, the longest chord. Therefore, we can say the longest chord passing through the center of the circle, that is the diameter. Therefore, the diameter is AC, right? Question number C. Therefore, diameter is AC is the diameter. AC is the diameter. Number D, a chord. Here you see, chord. Chord means a, what is chord? Chord means a straight line formed. Here is ED. ED is the chord, E to D. That means if this is a circle, right? If we take two point A and B, another point, if we join the line, this is the chord, right? Therefore, here you see ED is the chord. Therefore, the chord is ED. E, D is the chord, right? E, two points in the interior of the circle. Two points here, here you see, two point O is an, one point, interior of the circle, and P is another point, that is interior of the circle. This is the circle, the interior is O and P. Two points in the interior of the circle is O, another point is P, interior of the circle. If a point in the exterior, external is outside the circle, outside the circle is only one point, that is Q, therefore the point is Q. Right? A sector and a segment. What is the meaning of sector? Sector means, suppose this is a circle. If we take two radius, one and two, and the area covered by this arc is a sector. Here you find two sector that is OAB. OAB is one sector. We can write here as O A. B. Why? Because you, here you see that, that there are two radius, this radius and this radius and it is covered by an arc. Right? Therefore, this is the sector. Right? Now, segment. What is segment? Segment is like this. Suppose this is a triangle, this is a circle. Draw a chord. Right? In the area, by covered by the chord and this arc 
is the segment therefore here you can segment you can say ed is the segment right ed the segment is ed e d that means this area is the segment of the circle right again we are explaining here you see that is the center of the circle center of the circle is o right a diameter that is a to c this is the diameter three radii that is oa ob and oc a chord it is the chord right two points in the interior o and p are the interior points and q is the exterior point a sector what is the meaning of sector i already told you the sector means a area covered by an arc and two radii that is the sector that is o a b is one sector and o b c is another sector right now a segment segment it means area covered by a chord and an arc here you see it is arc right and it is a chord also that we can say this area or uh, is the segment therefore the segment means it is the segment of this circle this is the solution of question number 1